All right, I'm throwing up the challenge to, uh, let's see, it's David Duncan in the tapped booth. What problem are you guys trying to solve today in your booth? Yeah, look, we're trying to tackle the growing issue of app discovery. So we're trying to make it easier for people to find the apps that are worth talking about or the apps that they want to download on their phones. And we're doing that by... Wait, wait, iTunes isn't perfect? <laughs> look, it, iTunes is a great way of buying apps, and we don't dispute that, but what we think is the best way of finding apps is through word of mouth. That's what your friends are recommending, what people are telling you. So we all gather around at work and people are talking about apps. That's how I find most of my apps. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gone to iTunes and said, ooh, that looks fun and bought yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. so that's, that's what TAP's about. TAP's about really capturing what your friends are saying, what experts are saying, and what people with shared interests are saying about apps. So you can come on here and you can see what people are talking about. You can share your own app you know, information, that you, what you know about an app, and you can tap into that conversation. So it's about you know, joining a conversation, starting a conversation, it allows developers to come on here and talk to their user base as well, so it's, it's got a bit for everything. So it's oh, so the developers can actually have a conversation back, which is something that's missing in, in the uh, iTunes stores. They can never say, what you don't understand is... Spot on. And you know, in, on the iTunes store, you've got a one-way comment, and it might have been made because the user didn't know how to use their app properly. In, uh, in our platform, a user can make, make a bad comment still, but the developer can come out and ask them a question or say, hey, d did you try it this way? Or, or can, you, know can you send me that log file so I can fix it for you? Absolutely. So it's, it's a community. You know, we, it is a social network, but it's around one very specific thing. It's around apps and what people are talking about in the app space. So from that perspective, users can come on and they can share what they, what they know with their friends, but the developers have that place as well. So so there's really three people we're targeting. It's the users, the developers, and also then a special category, the app enthusiast or your app reviewer, you know, someone who's got a bit of a professional you know, link to apps and or they're very, you know, they know a lot about apps and they can create their own profile on Tapped and link that back to their blog sites and link that back to their review sites and say, hey that's guys. That's kind of nice. Yeah, hey guys, that's what I'm into. So rather than someone having to look at through all your articles, they can have a quick look at your profile and say, hey, here's the top 10 apps that that person's been sharing and talking about in the last month. Probably knows what he's talking about. All right, you're yeah. going to show us something on the iPhone yeah, sure. here? So uh, this is video and audio, so I may repeat things to say what he's pointing at now. Okay, no problem. So we come into the app and we've got a feed. Um, at the top of the feed we can see what's trending. So what we mean by trending is what apps are being talked about the most. So, And that's based on this tap count which are the little circles and as we scroll as we scroll down we can see the tap count against various apps. Our app's actually trending in our own feed at the moment so that's not a bad thing. Um, what, what that tap count and we get a few help pop-ups coming up but what the tap count means is that there's six people in this situation here, there's six people that have been talking about Zenday. I can hit that tap count and it will take me to the app in detail where it will show me the people that are talking about that app currently. So by looking through what people are talking about when it comes to this app, that may help me actually connect and want to purchase that app itself. So I can open that up, I can read what people are saying, I can like and I can comment on the app, um, I can ask a question, um, and that's all linked from our main feed, so we can go back there. There's a couple of other little features that we have. I can say I want to see apps from everyone, there's a world symbol, or I just want to see apps from the people that I'm following. I like that. So you don't want every joker, but you know that these five people or these 20 people know what they're talking about. Absolutely. So for me, you know, I trust, you know, the people that I know, I probably trust a bit better than strangers. So I, I want to see what the people I know are actually saying about an app. And, um, you know, I can drill straight into that very quickly. So here's a tap by Alyssa, for example. She's someone back in Australia, and I'm tapping into... So she a, must be brilliant. She's very good, yeah. She's a, a, a great girl, this one. And um, I can tap in, see what she said. She's written me a good description about Loopy. I can, you know, ask her a few questions back. But I can also see who else is saying something about that app by tapping on that tap count and seeing what else is being said on it. So. Is that the Jimmy Fallon, Billy Joel uh, app that everybody was excited about? I, I think so, yeah. Look, I, I've got to read it. I've, I haven't been reading it. I'm just seeing it on the feed now. So this is, you know, this is a place where I'm, I'm going to discover stuff that I probably didn't know I wanted as well. You know, I'm looking through the feed. Look, I'm into certain, I've got my own certain interests, but it's likely I'm going to stumble across some things I didn't know I, I wanted because, you know, a friend's recommended it to me, and that's a good recommendation. So can you filter, say, I, want, I care about utilities a lot. Can I look just at okay. utilities? Let me show you that. So under the main menu... I've got a thing called my interests. And if I tap on my interests, it takes me to a new screen which shows me the interests that I might be into. So let me just go down and see if I can find utilities. If I tap on utilities there, it's gonna bring up the feed and give it a second. It's gonna refresh the feed now based on what's trending in the utility space. 
So how does something get identified as a utility? Is that through the iTunes uh, ca uh, it, categories? It's effectively linked with the iTunes categories. We've got one other cool way of searching for apps in here outside from just filtering by your interests. And, and by the way, yeah, there, there I am. I'm, I'm scrolling through the real-time feed of utilities being tapped out on tapped. But I've got one other clever way to help users connect with what they're sharing on tapped, and it's through our search function. When I come up to search, what we're doing, a bit like Instagram and a bit like Twitter, we're using hashtags. So what we're using hashtags for is allowing users to create all the subcategories that they want to create for the apps that they love. Let me ask you this. Did they start that by themselves and you said, uh-oh, better incorporate that? No, no, we brought this in from day one. We, we, we looked at Instagram. We you knew at, they were going to do it. Oh, we, we love hashtags, you know. Everyone loves hashtags these days. In case anybody listening doesn't know, Twitter did not invent hashtags, the users did. And they yeah. went, oh, we should incorporate Let's that. Let's do it. You know, it's the best keyword search tool in the world, isn't it, at the moment? Unlimited categories, unlimited search options. So I can come in here and let's say I'm into running. I can type in R-U-N. Now, not only will I get a list of apps that match, but I'm getting a list of hashtags that match as well. So if I take, type on, say, running, it's going to show me other apps. Give it a second. It's going to show me actually apps that have been tapped out on tapped, where someone said something about it, and it'll show me the tap count against those apps. So I know going to these, I'm going to find comments by people who have hashtagged those apps with running. In order, it, when you tap something, do you have to make comments? Yeah, look, well, you either have to make a comment, add a hashtag, or tag a user. So oh, okay. you can send, you can send a, a t an app directly to a user in here as well. So when someone follows oh, me. you, yeah, it's like an internal message. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you that. So like if they knew I was into running, they could just send me a running app. Spot on. Yeah. So I'll just cancel out of this search. But or I'll go. Let's say I go to one of those. If I go back to my main menu and I go to uh, my news, at the top here, I've got a whole section where it's full of taps that people have sent me. So specifically me. So I can scroll down and see my notifications as well when people follow me and people like what I've said or comment on what I've said. But these are apps that someone thought I would like and they've tagged me specifically in that share. So it's a little internal message within Tapped that says, hey, I've, I've just come across this app. I know who likes that app. I'm going to send them that app. And it's, you know, it's a way of messaging apps without doing it on your social networks. I like it, I like yeah. it. This is very cool. So what's your what's your business model? Yeah, so the business model is firstly to get a user base on, so that's our number one. But you now we've got a couple of ways of monetizing this. One of the ways is through our interaction with developers. Um, we can have sponsored hashtags. We've got a daily tap, which is a featured app of the day that comes onto here. And we can also put some sponsored links into our feed. We're gonna be very careful about that though, because we don't want to clutter the feed up with too many sponsored links to apps. But this is a great platform for for suggesting apps on if you're a developer because it's about apps. So rather than advertising on a social network which is about all sorts of things, you know, obviously developers on here if they're wanting to be found by other tapped users, you know, this is a great place for them to have their app discovered and if it's discovered by one person and that person starts tapping about it and sharing it on the platform, that can generate that a little bit of critical mass and a little bit of a viral effect for that developer within this community. All right, so uh, that would mean that Tapped is free for the users, and we'll see how that works out. So, where would they find Tapped, and how do you spell it? Yeah, tap, well, Tapped is T A P P D. That's right, vowels are over, I guess, or E's at least. It's short and sweet, yeah. So, T A P P D, and you can just search for it on the App Store, um, or you can go to tapped.in, which is our website. And that's where our saying from, comes from, get tapped in. So it's ah, one of great. our branding messages, get tapped into the apps worth talking about. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, David. I really appreciate your time. This looks pretty interesting. I'm going to check it out. Thank you very much.